Hey guys, I caught Hacker MM here with how to change your um slide to unlock um writing. Cause my I have a how to unlock thing from Cydia, so I, I don't have to use a slider. I said my code in video. Go ahead and check that out. Um for this you are going to add one second wrong place. Going to have to add a source. First, let me see what source it is in, because I have so many different sources. I think it might be in my one that I added a while ago. Um, might be this one. One second, let me check. Yeah. This is the source you're going to want to type in. There you go, edit. And you're going to type in. Second. I'm going to type in. D. I. Um, spot. Repo. The iPhone is got refill dot net slash forward slash APT forward slash. This will be in the description by the way. So like that. Just type in the iPhone spot repo dot net forward slash ABT forward slash. But at that source I'm not gonna do it because I already have it. Done. Go into that. Go down to the M's, or actually the M's, just to make it faster for you. Scroll back up to the M's. It should be right there. It's called My Strings. Um, go ahead and install that. Oh, damn. Wrong place. I'm just gonna go ahead. Go ahead and um, install that. Now you're gonna have to go back. Now this is a really weird process, but you're gonna have to go into Winterboard. You go select themes. It's not really a theme though. Where is it? Find the thing that says activate my strings. Go ahead and enable that with that restring. Now you're gonna have to go into the settings. <coughs> it should be right under brightness. There it is, my strings. Go ahead, go into that, and if you scroll down to sliders, oh, wrong place. Sliders, you can change what this says. See, mine says nothing because I don't want anything on the top of the lock. Because if it's on the top of the lock, it's like too far from the left, and it won't, it won't appear half. And then I, I have the top of the lock makes it also a um, a tap to unlock power off. See how mine says never mind. You can change that. If you go to um, search, you can change what. Your search, you can um, change the empty search results. Please enter something. No results, nothing found. Searching, searching Mike's iPod. Search iPod, search iMac. That's what mine said. Oh, damn. Um, you can go to pop ups. See, my battery remaining says charge this iPod. And the battery remaining title says shit, charge this iPod. Load this space title. And my load this space thing, uh oh. Room. Just a bunch of other stuff. You can change the lock keypad, what it says. When it says okay, click, no, go away. You can change a bunch of stuff in my strings. Go ahead and mess around with that. If you have the iPhone, you can go into the iPhone iPhone only thing. I have an iPod touch, so I never actually bother with that. It just doesn't actually do anything. And you can also change what, um, you go to iDevices, and you go to iPod. Maybe you type in, like, your music. Sorry, let me just start playing a little bit of music. Let's put that. I hate it. It's 
Now, you know what? You double tap, that will come up. So you notice know, Mike's music. Alright, I think I have to respawn my iPod because this slider's not. I don't know what's working now. Um, okay, so you can mess around with that. Um, you can change a lot of things. If I had a lock keypad, it would say a lot of different things. Like if I typed anything wrong, it would just. It would be something really weird. Um, somebody asked me, um, and my friend Jack asked me how to, um, change the lock clock to look gas. It's from Font Swap. Go ahead, just search that up, um, Insidia. It's, it's already there. You don't need a source, it's free. It's called Font Swap. And it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's right here. It's actually, like, only a little, little app. See, I can change the lock clock fonts, the system fonts, my system fonts, not on one. I really don't know what it's called. I really don't care. I think it's called Myri Myriad Pro. Um, go ahead and get that. That will not be something in the title. That's not something in the title of this video. And it won't really be in the description because it's not that popular. I don't really think it should be. Well, this has been iPod Hacker Room and Deep Watching.